I've been here since June of 2023, so it's been about seven months now. Wow. I, uh, you know, I started out my first two months uh, with Tinctorious, uh -huh. um, and then the position to open up for the Erratus, and, and I jumped on in. So, um, so yeah, I watch, uh, uh, watch over and take care of the 13 morphs that we have for for the Erratus. So cool. Feeding is is definitely number one. Um, you know, we feed three times a week. Uh, feed our froglets, um, and then our adults. We'll collect eggs. We'll, yeah. Um, you know, we'll pull tadpoles, yep. um, you know, clean tadpoles, that kind of fun stuff. Cool. But, uh, cool. Yeah. If money and space were no issue, what is your dream pet? I kind of want like an old barn out in the woods and have like a giant bat house. I don't know really? why. I, I just love bats. What was your first pet? Yeah. So I think we had a couple cats when I was a baby. Um, but my first exact that what I remember was a ferret. Ferret named Crash because he would crash into our <laughs> closet. So uh, That's awesome. Ferrets are cool pets. That's so. awesome. What's your favorite animal or plant? I've always liked cheetahs. So I think they're, oh, yeah. they're really unique. In terms of plants, I like the bleeding hearts. My grandma used to grow those. Yeah. Those cool. When you were a little kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? A uh, veterinarian. I wanted to help animals. Really? So, and, and then you grow up and you find out, yeah, medicine is not for me. <laughs> <you know? laughs> what do you do with a free hour of free time? So hypothetically, it's spring or summer right now. And I am outside photographing critters with a macro lens. Oh, so. cool. What's one piece of advice or encouragement that you would give uh, to everybody? Finding a passion is not discovering what you like. It's figuring out what you're willing to suffer and make sacrifices wow. for.